I was never really into the idea of competitions. I mean, not that there is any sort of competitions for ramp skating, but like, you know, if you come first, someone can take that away from you. But if you're actually the first person to do something, no one can take that away from you. Like, that's your title, and you've got it. There's no more trying after that. Cool. And um, how do you prepare for jumping the mega ramp? Uh, you know, I've always been like torn between. Do I practice more or do I rest? This week I've kind of opted for rest. And I'm hoping that this helps. Um, I don't know, like there's some hill bombing involved. You know, you gotta get used to the speed. Um, there's a smaller jump box at my local indoor park. They're doing that a fair bit. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty confident on that. And this is only what? Maybe more than twice the size of it? Cool. Um, what's going through your mind on the morning of? On the morning of? I have just so many mixed emotions. Like, I'm nervous. Uh, I mean, there's been parts this morning where I've just actually been shaking. Um, I've also been kind of amped up. Like, you ever seen a meathead get in a fight and they're just like, It's all! Let's do this! Basically like that. Um, you're pacing around a lot. I don't know, there's, there's so much going on. I, I'm actually more concerned about the uh, the drive there. I uh, hope there's no traffic. That's just gonna be nuts. Alright, so I'm switching out my 97 hardness bones wheels. They're autistics because they're thin and they're 62 mil, which is ideal for getting way more speed on the boat. You may notice that I've actually just written measurements on my trucks because I just switched trucks because I'm lazy. So I'm taking off 97s and putting on 103s, the Rollerbone Super Elite Artistic Wheels, which of course are already on trucks with their bearings and all sorts. If I'm probably going to bring... Uh, what's the worst injury that you probably had? Uh, the worst injury is definitely my PCL. I followed very closely. Um, I, I, I've never actually got a look at but my shoulders. They're both completely destroyed. Oh, I'm just skating. Um, I was in Canberra, uh, Falcon and Ball, and I was doing one-handed front flips out the ball, and I thought, maybe I'll pick my speed up, maybe I'll get a little bit crazy, and go no-handed with a front flip. Split open my eyebrow, um, it looks like I had an eyebrow ring, but I never really got into 1999 that hard. I just split open my face with my sunglasses.
This is warm up, Flaz. I grew up in the 90s where uh, rollerblading was socially acceptable. Uh, I, I was a hockey goalie for the most part. And then I kind of got into roller derby. And then politics, dramas, all that kind of bullshit. I left that and just started skating ramps. And I've been doing this for about, like, what, three consecutive years now, maybe? I have tourist guards, two elbows that can go in my one helmet. I sometimes wish I had a bigger bag, but at the same time, I couldn't carry a bigger bag. This is already ridiculous. All right, uh, two skates, obviously necessity. Butt pad, chest plate, shoulder pad, spine protector. I'm hoping I don't have to use that today. I mean, to be wearing it. I just don't want to be using it. And of course, gigantic knee pack. 